place it was over there. Mm -hmm. Same exact place. Let's hope he acts a little better this time. That's that one that's got trust issues, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Over. That's a lot better knowing he's there than just sitting here talking. Mm -hmm. That joker must fly down out of that tree and stand in the same spot all day. All day, every day. Just stand there. That's what I'm telling you. That, that very far hill right there. That very coming face to it.
that's it. Another quick day, middle of the bird, day bird. Bring him over here, let's look at him. That yeah, boy. Shot. That's a paintbrush beard, son. Yeah. The old two year old. <laughs> you may skin his head getting him back over here. <laughs> How about that second? We said come here and set up new, I mean this this pine tree right here, this pine tree that we sitting on is the killingest tree you ever seen. There's probably been what? I don't know. <laughs> but we come sitting on an old pine tree. Cut one time, he hammered it over there. And uh, he said he's only gonna gobble us one time because I was gonna give us that one courtesy gobble. Well, he said, some guns I'm gonna gobble one time. Better knowing he's there than sitting there calling without hearing nothing. And uh, sitting there talking, shooting the crap. And and Bruce said, Dave, don't move her. That joker's coming right here. He's right here. Showing sure enough. Well, I never did. When I saw him, yeah, yeah he was 80 yards. Oh. He was 80 yards, and I didn't. I didn't even have my head on the gun or nothing. But yeah, I saw you just froze. Yeah, and the whole time he was looking right at me. <clears throat> the whole time he walked, he was looking right at me, so I never could move until right at the end when Dave asked me to shoot. I couldn't shoot, so I didn't. I was trying to get relay back and forth to you to make sure that you weren't going to shoot him behind one of them trees. Yeah, and I was, I was trying to make sure he was on the camera. Which I was going to let him get right here in front, but I noticed you had this tree right here blocking me, so I didn't figure. I didn't figure you could, uh... It happened so quick, we didn't have it all so well planned out, and then I had the tripod in a funny angle. I had the tripod in a real funny angle, so when I was trying to turn the pivot the head, it was jerking on me real bad, so I was trying to kind of stiffen up so that it wouldn't, but the footage may be a little jerky, but we got it. I think it smoothed that, smoothed out a little bit when we got, when he got close here, but... What is it? Two year old. Oh, two year old. I don't know, man. I think it's sharp, sharp ain't it? Mm -hmm. But, son, what time is it? You gotta be a wedding in here about an hour. Yeah, I got a wedding in about two hours, or Dave and Bird just tying a knot. I said, well, shoot. We'll see what we can do. And this old bird here, we hunted him the other morning, and he gobbled on the tree, and gobbled, and gobbled, and gobbled. And I don't even think he flew down. I mean, at nine o'clock, it still sounded like he was on the hook. Goblin, and uh, we said we'll get him, get over here about midday and see if we can catch him while them hens at nest. And obviously we did, cause it wasn't but about ten yelps and a pair and a cluck, and he mm -hmm. was he in was the, all up in our face. He was on the front porch here. Mm -hmm. But that's why you like for them to work. That's why they're supposed to work. But uh, we came in and it was, that's when we. Yesterday we had three different birds gobbling here. And this bird was gobbling. He's probably the closest bird to us that morning. And he would gobble, but it was like he was tied to a tree over there. And the jury said he's got trust issues. That dang on bird right there's got trust issues. He ain't moving. But uh, as soon as we got down here and set up, I cut kind of hard and yelped. He hammered over there and looked at him and said, there he is. And he was coming in on the string. I said, I said that's happening with trust issues. We wouldn't expect him much. And we got a little place here. It's like our runway. There's one little hunt right here. It's exactly 22 yards. And usually that's where we kill him. And sure enough, he flanked us to the left, you know, a little bit. And then he come down that runway like an airplane, son. You couldn't ask for it any better. He's a, he's a pretty one. He's got a real thick beard. He's about nine inches long, nine and a half, maybe. Real thick. Real, real thick. But, uh, he's a little heavy 13. Hard on them heads, son. Some BBs in there. Yeah. Hard on them heads. The beef's broke. But, uh, I didn't fare too well. We were sitting here complaining. That giant thing only gonna gobble one, one time. time. He's only gonna gobble one time. And, 
Hey, you know, don't move. Here he is. He got it one here. time, and then he was here. Yeah. I mean, that's so. all it took. But I knew it was going to be good. I felt like this is our little magic spot right here. We've only been over here one other. We went to come over here the other morning. He was going to try to shoot one with his bow over here. I should have brought my bow today. That'd been perfect. Uh -huh. he, he was a little bit wary. <laughs> yeah. He's been cagey. He's been tough. But, uh, but it don't matter to me. I like them dead, so. Yeah, I like them dead. Bow, gun. Man, I don't know, man. Yeah. Real sharp, Pretty bird, man. It was a good time. Another one. Another well one worth YouTube. the... Yeah, well worth the invested 30 minutes we probably <laughs> left the house. We're going to walk back up and Eric is going to be like, really? Really? <laughs> yeah. We just left. This is supposed to be her bird, but she's been having a tough time getting out of the bed with these wedding <laughs> rehearsal dinners and stuff. So, uh... There's still a few more to take from There's some more here. over here for her to get after. But anyway, congrats, man. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs>